Alright guys, so we now have information on the next banner and raid that is coming to Dragalia Lost. Thank you to uh, to the uh, Discord server, which is now BBB. Um, I switched to Discord servers, which for reasons I am not saying, I'm choosing not to say them. And thank you to uh, Dragalia Lost News for providing all this information. We actually know a lot of information right now, so let's just go all the way up to the top and start from square one. So, Trick or Treasure will be the next raid event, a limited time event featuring Halloween costumed event adventurers. Not adventurers, god damn it. These all look nice. Then, <clears throat> Q in narrator voice. The crew is busy preparing the castle for a Halloween bash when hungry fiends suddenly attack. They're after the castle's candy, and the only way to stop them is... by dressing them up? Well, if that's what it takes to save Halloween, then so be it. Coming soon to Dragalia Lost. Trick or treasure? You, you want me to wear this? Okay, I did not read this, and this caught me off guard very much. Dressing them up like... What? Okay, you do you. So, gather snack o lanterns to build a sweet retreat. Use this exclusive facility to power up light-based adventurers. This is huge! This means that we can technically have limited edition ways to build our uh, facility level after we have uh, maxed out everything else. So, I would definitely uh, recommend doing this. And use this Wimprint's ability to obtain more snack o lanterns and more tricks or treats. It's called Plunder Pals, and it's a five and it's a five star rarity. I I don't know whether or not this will be grindable or not, but one thing's for sure: definitely want four copies of this, one for each unit. Definitely four. That, that way you can maximize your snack o lantern intake and your trickster, I mean trick-or-treats intake. Is there one more? Nope, okay. So next one. So... So Halloween at Elisan will be Holy Lance of the Five Star Rarity. And more screenshots. Uh, complete, complete the story to unlock special quests. Uh, clear quests, get rare drops, trade them in. Redeem treasure obtained in the event for various upgrade items. So, so it'll more than likely work just like uh, the emblems. I'm not sure. I'm guessing. I'm guessing be because it never mentioned those, like pumpkin with the witch hats or the or the candy bags. So those are more than likely be treated like emblems. Uh, clear event quest, collect snack o' lanterns and use them to upgrade your sweet retreat. Stock up on snack o' lanterns by taking down fiends. Okay. Okay, but how do we obtain, uh, uh the sweet retreat? Uh, will that be from the snack o' lanterns, or will that be from, eventually, those rare drops? And also, more importantly, how much can we get? If it's one, I'm honestly fine with one. Because I could probably give it, like, really good buffs. Probably. And now, uh, we have the extra boss battle, Revenge of the Pump King. That guy looks ridiculous, by the way. And we also have challenge battle, Halloween Horrors. So, so more likely, uh, this will be the, be the first battle where you can get the specific item used for the event. And this one will be the actual raid event. More than likely, it's not confirmed, I'm just guessing. So now, this is uh, the banner, it's called Halloween Fantasia. This is some nice art. So, so, so here you have uh, the characters. So Halloween Ellie San looks, well, mm, was already confirmed to be the 5 star rarity. This looks to be of the 4-star rarity, based off of the um, uh, background art. 3-star rarity, once again, more than we could tell because of the background art. And the 4-star... not 4-star. 
the five star dragon. That's it. That's what I meant to say. Five star. So all in all, these are some nice arts. People, people will obviously want a uh, Ellie San. Uh, she also looks nice, to be honest. And uh, eh, so does he. He also looks pretty good. And this, well, I don't know what to think of this really, to be honest. I don't know, except for giant lollipops. So now we move into the last leak of this, is these are all the mission requirements. Actually, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm, I'm going to save this, because cause, cause I'm definitely going to need this. So, participate in the event, you get 50 Wormite. Uh, place a sweet retreat, you get 50 Wormite. Uh, upgrade is... Upgrade a sweet retreat up to level 30, and you can get up to 200 Wormite from that. Uh, defeat a Halloween Fiend with Plumber Pals equipped, you get 50, so... Oh, actually, because it says that, I actually have a feeling that it's grindable. So, so the 5 star Plumber Pals uh, win print, I feel like that's grindable because of that mission. Then... Then uh, collect, uh, then collect up to five thousand uh, trigger treats in one go. You can get up to two hundred wormite and uh, and a title a uh, pumpkin squasher. <laughs> then then clear thirty boss battles. You get one fifty wormite. Um, clear ten extra boss battles. You get another hundred wormite and and a title um, candy artisan. Then a clear total of up to seventy waves and challenge battles. You get up to two hundred wormite. Then completely clear a challenge battle. You get one twinkling sand and the hard one. Completely clear a challenge battle in under one minute. You get the title Halloween Hero. So at the moment, uh, that's all the information we know. Um, um, I'm going to assume uh, the type right here. Um, uh, the type should be dark because Ellie Sand is of the light attribute. So grind up your holy units. Uh, whatever uh, you can, and and also be sure to um, uh, gr uh, grind up uh, the light orbs uh, whenever they come out in the coming days or so. De I definitely do that. Um, also, also for the um, silly levels on your gold mines because those are valuable as well. Um, a release date is not known. More than likely, I am assuming this. Once when this current raid leaves, which only has a couple days left and ends on like Sunday or Monday, they will give us a brief time period of where we can just chill. Chill. So so we will have a dead week, uh, I'm assuming. We will more likely have a dead week. But then, but then this raid will come. One thing, actually, now that I quickly think about it, um, uh, the banner... This current water banner ends on the 16th. The raid ends before the 16th. So more than likely, when the banner leaves, the new banner will come in and the, and the raid will come in. So I'm estimating of the 17th it should come, actually. I'm, I'm estimating October 17th. Don't quote me if I'm wrong, I'm just assuming, right? So that's the video. Uh, once again, big shout out to to Dragalia Lost News for providing the information, and also shout out to the BBB Discord for sharing this information as soon as it was released. I will be sure to link the Twitter and and the BBB Discord in the in the description below. Be sure to check them both out. Um, uh, be sure to follow uh, uh, the news section that way. That way you can stay up to date. And other than that, I guess I'll see you in either a showcase or more info or when the raid drops. I don't know. Whichever comes first. Peace.